Welcome to my channel Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie and today we're here at Disney Springs in search of new Disney merchandise. We're also gonna eat some food, maybe some pin trading. We'll see. Let's go. whole new active wear collection by the brand Outdoor Voices. My favorite piece being the goofy piece. Let's check it out. Look at this. It's like an active wear like mini dress. And look at Goofy. It's that classy goofy look and the colors. I'm so happy with how this looks. And the only thing is that it is a little expensive. It is $118, but you know, this um activewear brand is pretty much around that price range. And then here's the oh, it's a Mickey and Co and Outdoor Voices collaboration. And this is the Minnie Mouse dress which features the classic mini with like the little daisy hat and a little flower. And for $148, they have these leggings. And then what's cool about it is that it brings a little attached pouch with the character on there. This is the Minnie Mouse one. To match the leggings, they have the matching sports bra. And look at the back of the sports bra. It has Minnie Mouse on there. Isn't that cute? It is $78. And they also have the biker shorts. This is the Mickey Mouse one. I like that the pouch is red. Very like, I like the contrast. Look, it says Mickey and Co. I love it. These are so cute. And then to match, look at the sports bra. Look at the Mickey one. We have Mickey there on the back. Now, like I said, the sports bra is $78 and the biker shorts here, uh-oh, price. They are $98. I don't think this is active wear, but it's by the same brand, same collection, and I am obsessed with this button down with the goofy. Wow, I love it. Now, let's see the price on this one. Oh, here it is. $98. The fabric is really lightweight, like super lightweight. And I looked at the tag and 43% of the polyester is recycled. For $35, we have new Tinkerbell ears. They are so glittery and they have tank. So they have her here nice and glad and over here nice and mad. And we have all of these daisies surrounding the ears. So, so glittery, a little daisy in the center. And this is, like I said, 35. These huge fans Fanny pack seems to be all the trend now and they have this stitch one for $24.99 and it feels kind of like a nylon material. This is what the inside looks like. Let's go into the Marvel Superhero Headquarters store and I love that they're showcasing the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 merchandise here. because there are new pins. They have this Spider-Man 4 pin collection for $29.99. Yes, I know the pins are more expensive now. I'm very sad about that, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. And then over here, we have these huge pins. I am inevitable. This is Thanos. This is a pin on pin element, $20. These are the all the other four. So over here, we have Loki. You were meant to be ruled. Over here, heads up, wall crawler. This one, it's been Agatha all along. And over here, I am a perfect being. And Mel here is very, 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 very excited about these pins. He's like contemplating. He's like, should I, should I not? Do you think my wallet can take it? Um, so this one here are Guardians of the Galaxy pins. They are limited release pins. And let me just get a little closer. Of course, we have our favorite Rocket and Groot. It's good to have friends. And then over here, we have this one, which kind of slides open. And it has pretty much all of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. 
I love it. It is a picture though. This is like kind of like those like a picture, uh, picture with pins. That yeah, with that gloss. But this one, I love. Like that looks like a pin, if you know what I mean. And then what is it saying in the bottom? Garden oh, Gardens the of the Galaxy. Okay, so this one here is $18 and that one is also $18. And a new mystery pin set here. And this one here has pretty much kind of like Marvel villains, right? These are your possibilities. The ones that are featured at the front are Doctor Doom, Ultron, and Thanos. And this box contains two randomly selected pins for 25. I've been seeing this all around and at the boards and everything, but I've never seen this one before. I think it's a new addition. It's, it's a new addition because you can see the black one. Oh, the white? You mean the white backing? Yeah, oh. but you have the... Oh, it the says Marvel. You Marvel. see that? Yeah, but these other ones too. But I'm, what I was saying is, this one I haven't seen before recently. And this one here is Rocket and Groot, and it is 3D and textured. Oh my gosh. Let me get up close to them so you can see their faces. <laughs> How much is this pin? This is a racket pin, so Twelve. it's silver, $12. And these jumbo pins, he who remains, let's see. $35, but it's super huge. And then this one here of um, the gauntlet, the infinity gauntlet, also same price. By the way, if you are looking to purchase some of the items available or that I've shown in this video over at shopdisney.com, one of the ways you can support this channel is by shopping through the links I provide down below in the description box. So any merch item shown in the video, also available on Shop Disney, I've linked down below. They are affiliate links, so I do receive a small commission, but you're not charged more or less by shopping through the link. It just simply helps the channel. And also hit that like button. It's another way to support and subscribe. It's completely free. Give us all of the group merchandise. This one here is like a little plush. It's actually from the Wonders of Xandar. You can actually like kind of style him and pose him. Now he is so, so cute. Group plush with cedar. Oh, and cinnamon. This is the scented plush and it is $25. Do a sniff test. It does? <laughs> Oh, I'm obsessed with this so much. Oh my gosh, I actually saw the art piece at the Art of Disney, you remember that? Yeah, we're gonna go to the Art of Disney later on so I can show you what I'm talking about. But they have the figurine. Oh, this is so cute. Cosmic Boogie is called. A vinyl figurine, just look at them. Our favorite, Rockin' and Groot. Let's get the price on this. This one is, what? It's $30. What? No, it's from the Wonderground Gallery. They have this Hasbro Legend Series figurine set or action figure set. Um, yeah, we have all, look at Gamora, Okay, we have Star here, Lord. we have Groot. Right, as a baby. And we have Groot here. And Groot, oh wait. As a newborn, this, right? This one is at the end of the first movie. Right. This one is at the beginning of the second movie. And this one is the beginning of the first movie. The first movie, exactly. And then, yeah, this is, oh my gosh, look at Rocket's face. I love this, but I know it's probably expensive. Uh, yeah. Hold on, turn around, let's see. Yeah. Yep, $125. I have shown the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 merchandise collection in a Hollywood Studios merch tour video. If you haven't seen that video and want to see the collection, I will link it down below in the description box. But I wanted to show you guys all the Funko Pops that they have here. They have Adam Warlock in gold. They have Star Lord. And we have Rocket with his Guardians outfit. Now these, oh gosh, they always get me with the price. I think they're $15. $14.99 is what I remember. And then these are all the ones you can uh, collect.
We are so, so hungry right now. So we're gonna go to one of our favorite spots here at Disney Springs to eat chicken guy. Ended up getting the chopped chicken Caesar salad. I like to get it grilled. It's one of my favorites. It is so good. And then ML got the barbecue chopped chicken, but he's actually made like a little combination here of sauces. He got the sweet sriracha barbecue sauce and the lemon pepper as his dressing. He gets a little creative with his dressings. And we have Duffy the bear hanging out with us today with his little hidden Mickey paws. By the way, the chicken Caesar is $8.50 and the barbecue chopped chicken is $8.99 and he likes to get it fried. Here is my grilled chicken Caesar salad and it comes with the chicken the Caesar on the side and this is Emil's like little dressings here and look at his. It's so good. This is your favorite part, right? Like the little crunchies. Tortilla. Oh, and then it had oh tortilla strips, right? But they're like really well seasoned. And the bottom, you can see the uh, beans because it does come. It comes with uh, romaine slaw, cheddar, black beans, tomatoes, and crispy tortilla strips, which is good. Here at the Ganagerie, they still have the Queen Amidala chocolate piñata. This was for May the 4th, but they still have it. We're gonna go inside and check it out. But it is a dark chocolate piñata filled with dark and ruby chocolate bark with crisp strawberry raspberries. $35. And for those of you that don't know, Queen Amidala is from Star Wars, and this seems to be a Disney 100 item. It comes inside of this dome. It's a limit of two per guest, and it has like these little chocolate balls at the bottom. This is precious. Wow. I know it's a little pricey, but this is like art. So pretty. And they also have an Ahsoka Tano pop for $7.50, and it has coconut ganache and a Millennium Falcon chocolate pop. Wow, the details on this, and it is $7, and it is a milk chocolate. Ooh, the little uh, chocolate pearls. And I cannot agree more with them. Chocolate is good medicine. And though you can tell them how much I like chocolate. The chocolate can. <laughs> Too much, he says. So they have a Corsico here, and okay, we're gonna go check out the new Corsico stand here at Disney Springs. It is the first like physical uh, store, let's say, oh, that Corsico has, and it's in Disney property, yeah. Okay, they also have the dark chocolate strawberry pop for Mickey Mouse, and Minnie's is a milk chocolate pop, is it? I think it's a milk, yeah, is it? Yeah. Hopefully. And what's cool about this shop is that you can actually see them make the chocolate. And right now, she looks like she's putting some medallions on top of some chocolate. Chocolate medallions, edible medallions. It is a very rainy day, so we're just gonna wait it out for a little bit. While we wait, uh, we can uh, look at some chocolate making. Doesn't hurt anybody. Okay, so we are getting closer to the Corksicle location. It is right in front of the Paddlefish restaurant. They have a Disney 100 Corksicle, and this is so pretty. We have Tinkerbell on here, it's holographic. And this one here is, ooh, what price? Oh, okay, they have like a little licensing products pricing. Uh, this is the 16 ounce, I believe, tumbler. And the 16 ounces? 16 ounces? Yes. $38. Ooh, not too bad. And now the 16 ounce canteen for $39.95. We have the Mickey Mouse Club. Isn't this precious? The white and the red with the black. I love the sketches in the back. It says, notice how black part of head alters as Mickey changes expressions. I love that. And then over here, this red one. Also Mickey Mouse Club. Mouseketeers. Very pretty. They have a really nice Star Wars one. My favorite one here is the 16 ounce tumbler for $37.95. It is of Ahsoka. And then over here we have this one, it's just this stemless 
a tumbler here. Arturito. Yes. Arturito. And Arturito. In Latin America, they call them Arturito. <laughs> and then over here, this one here, the canteen, C3PO. Pretty. And more of the canteen, 16 ounce. Now, this is Darth Vader. It does have that like matte coating. And over here, this one is of the Mandalorian. I just realized I was looking at it wrong. So this one for the Mickey Mouse Club is a 16 ounce canteen while the Star Wars ones are sports canteens, 20 ounces. And these are a bit more expensive. They are, hold on, here it is, $47.95 and the 16 ounce $39.95. They have many of the Sport Canteen Marvel ones down here. I can see Loki right over here, Spider-Man, Captain America, Black Panther. And then over there, I see a little Grogu one. Here's the Grogu one. It's a stemless. And also a little variety here for Disney Princess. They have this coffee tumbler of Cin Oh, look at the fairy godmother, the glass slipper. This is Cinderella, of course. And then over here we have, what is this? Oh, okay, I see the little dwarf for Snow White. And it's this pearl. is the bell design. Yes, it does have kind of like a pearly finish on this collection. But they also sell a variety of other things that are not Disney themed, like look at this. I love this purple glittery color. This one here is a stemless. Okay, came to the marketplace co-op and see what's on the board and I already see oh, two things. This the Tinkerbell one, and the Disney 100th anniversary uh, Simba. I was gonna say Mufasa. Yes, those both. Let's trade. Which ones are we gonna trade? Okay, we're gonna trade these two from like a little popcorn collection. We're gonna quickly show you our lanyards, what we have to trade. And then show mine demo, show mine. And this is our other lanyard. So these are smaller pins. Okay, let's go to the Disney pin trading store and they also have pin trading boards here and of course all the pins. Okay, let's see what they have in this board. So they have a tramp one. Is this real though? It looks like. That, that's one of the things about pin trading is trying to figure out or knowing what makes it a fake pin or a real pin. This Obviously we real. only trade for real pins and we only trade real pins. This one is real. It does say on Let's see. Nothing that we uh, want for our collection. We get asked very frequently about Magic Bands. So yes, you can purchase many of the Magic Bands designs in this location. Let's take a look at a few. The prices will be shown here and it is according to the color on the box. For example, this one is a slate, which is $45. Displayed on here, we have the Disney Decades ones. They have Clarabelle Cow and Horace Horse Collar. And then over here, they have a Steamboat Willie one. For those of you that love Stitch, they have Stitch Magic Band classes. They also have some of the attractions, Marvel ones. Now there is more than this. This is just our picks. My personal favorite, Star Wars. This is my favorite Star Wars one because look at that Grogu face. Speaking of Star Wars, you don't want to miss this Sunday's video because we're going to do a whole Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy's Edge. We're going to actually tour all the latest merchandise, all the new arrivals over at Galaxy's Edge. Only Galaxy's Edge. So you don't want to miss out this Sunday. Just a tiny little sneak peek of what's new over at Galaxy's Edge. We're here at the Star Wars Trading Post and look at these toothpick holders, Bright Suns, Batu, Rising Moons. That's nice. And of course, we're gonna show lightsabers. Here on display, they have this adorable figurine. I believe it's for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi with Ewoks. Aren't they so cute? Come on, this is way too much. It is $125. Let's check out the back. Because yes, there is more cuteness on the back. I love this. Mm -hmm. 
This is the art piece we were talking about earlier and the artist is Maria Stucky. We have seen her art before. I love her art. It's called Cos Cosmic Boogie, LE95, the canvas. And this is $229, the canvas. This is another one of her pieces, which we, sh we have seen as a figurine over in Epcot. This one is called Rainbow of Imagination. Very cute. And then look at this Groot one. The Groot one is actually by another artist as well as this chip one. The artist is called Kristen Tursek. Hopefully I said that right. This one is here is called Delicious. It's delicious, $199. And you can purchase the matted print, which I believe is around the $50 range. I adore this piece of Disney princesses and I love that it has Giselle from Enchanted on there and these little rhinestone embellishments on the dresses. I love the dresses. They're nice and light and airy, very, very pretty an aerial that looks like her wedding dress it might not be but it really does look like it they are so so beautiful let's see who the artist is oh it's dylan bonner ever afterings one of a kind this is a one of a kind so six thousand dollars <laughs> this one is gorgeous Look at the hot air balloons. Wow. This is like all part of someone's imagination, I think. Wow. So, so pretty. It is called Peaceful Kingdom by John Nadu. $22,500. And can we talk about this Princess Tiana one with Prince Naveen? And it also has little rhinestone embellishments on there. This is so magical. And this one here is Happily Ever After in the Bayou by Anne Shen. You guys remember the Aristocats Anne Shen collaboration collection? This one is one of a kind, so $5,000. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget about those Shop Disney links down in the description box. Subscribe for more Disney World merchandise, tours, updates, and fun. Hit that like button if you like the video, it really helps the channel. And also questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit that notification bell. So you are notified every time we upload a new video, which we do three times a week. And if you wanna see the video prior to this one, where I go to Disney's Character Warehouse, the Disney Outlet Store, check it out right up here. Or the prior to that one, where I go to the U Universal Studios Park. Go around the park and check out the merchandise there. It was so much fun. Check it out right down here. And I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye.